Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts, the tournament. We've seen the Spanish versus the French, leading to the demise of the French. Now we're going to see how the British and the Germans get on. Which of these long-standing Imperial Navy versus Royal Navy is going to win the fight? Place your bets down below in the comment section before you watch the rest of the video, and let's see. On one side, we can expect the British. This is the Immortalica class from Immortalis. The enemy is the Schwerer Schlagmann. And the Schlagmann has already opened up. These ships, designed by Speed 3 Freak, are armed with 16-inch guns. These are the biggest guns that we have seen on these ships in the tournament. There are no bigger guns around. And it looks like not only are they big guns, they will also be able to hit very hard. They're able to pen pretty much anything on the British warships. Now, neither of these ships are particularly quick. The Germans are moving around, I believe, at 17 knots, and the British at 17.2. The British don't have a very big main armament. They've got 14 inchers, but only six of them, six barrels. Their main firepower is their secondary armament. They have a range of 16 kilometers, but ironically, they will not be able to get to that range very quickly at 17 knots. So, for now, it might be the Germans that have the advantage. They can actually reach out and touch the British warships. And with those long barrel 16s, might actually be able to hit... Well, close. Hit the British ships. The British ships, as before, under AI control. And the Immortalica's revenge actually opened fire. Look at that. Just <sighs> volume of fire coming in from the Germans. At this range... Sorry, at this rate, it's going to be a matter of time until one of the British ships takes a hit. Watch this. Everybody going live. Beautiful. Will that actually land? Or not? Salvo going in. Looking to go for the Immortalica. Missed. Neither party... There actually we go. There's the first hit from the British 8.7 inch gun. These 8.7s are not very good when it comes to AP at this range. I believe their main strength is going to lie in their HE. Whether the AI figures out to use HE remains to be seen. Even though... If they don't use HE, AP will be sufficient to deal serious blows to the German crews. Because they might not be able to do a whole lot of damage, but every bit of damage that the ship takes is going to cost some crew members. Now, the Germans do have a secondary battery. They got 12 6 inch casemates, as well as a couple of double triple barrels. Oh, sorry, uh, two triple barrel turrets port and starboard. That can add up. Especially with the rate of fire. That's definitely in favor of the German ships. But will those six inchers actually be able to set enough fires on the British? Not so sure. Of course, right now, the British don't really have a choice with their secondary battery. Only now are they going to be range of HE. It looks like they keep switching targets. The Germans, finally having reloaded, send another big welcoming salvo to the Immortalica. And they got their first hit. 175 from an overpen. That flew right into the main tower. Oh, sorry, the four belt even. These German guns are too good. Fairly typical German over-engineering, you might say. And as such, they're just flying in one side of the ship and out the other without being able to do a whole lot of damage. But that might have been a fluke. Maybe... We're going to see some of these shells actually connect with the ship and not fly in one side and out the other, but fully dealing explosive damage inside the ship. Just keep in mind, AP is not some sort of cannonball that just goes in in one side and out the other, hoping to cause flooding. It's designed to pen armor and explode in the middle. I really look forward to seeing how many crew members this German ship still has left. Because I think the 8.7s are doing exactly what they wanted to do. That is, what Immortalis wanted them to do. Which is just fire very quickly. Well, relatively quickly, at 34 seconds. 
and cause either a lot of crew loss or a substantial amount of fires. Potentially so much so that the ship is going to have an extensive fire and get knocked out very swiftly. And it looks like the fires are adding up on this German battleship. It took the Brits a while to get into range, but look at all the fires. And the German Schwerer Schlagmann has lost 19% of her crew. This is bad news for the Germans. They have standard crew quarters, so they can take some hits. But 20% is getting rather serious. The damage and stability on this ship is so bad that it now has a 48% damage and stability debuff. Um... There goes another couple percent of the crew. Yeah, these British ships don't have a whole lot of main armament, but it's their secondaries. It's all the 8.3s, sorry, the 8.7s that are dealing the damage. And so far, it seems to be working. The British ships themselves, I do believe, have... Yeah, they also have uh, cramped quarters. But the Germans just seem unable to hit their targets. They're looking at 6% chance to hit. The Brits have 7.5, but 66% chance to hit with their secondary armament. These are Mark 3s. These are also Mark 3s. The 16s are... Sorry, the 14s. The 16s are Mark 2. Meaning they're slightly less accurate, slightly less reliable, uh, longer reload, just even with a smaller caliber, I would say the British guns are better. Although, if you look at the damage done, it's the 8-inchers that have taken away most of the damage from the German ship. Uh, they've already lost 33% of their crew. Even if the extensive fire doesn't kill them, the crew loss will. Meaning that this, for the Germans, could be a pretty brief fight. Especially as they seem just utterly unable to deal any kind of damage against the British. Oh, good lord. 37% crew loss, 38.5, 38.6, sorry, 38.7. Another volume of fire, another volley coming in. She's gone. Extensive fire. Schwerer Schlagmann is down. It only took the British 18 minutes, not even that, to accomplish that achievement. So now, it is Hessen and Schwaben. Both undamaged, yet both not really having accomplished much. The British have a very, very serious armor belt of 14.2 inches plus 120% quality. They're really only vulnerable fore and aft belt and superstructure. Everything else is likely going to be able to take a few hits. Without necessarily immediately feeling the effects of it. And the Germans, they just haven't been able to hit. Schwaben down to 0.9% crew loss. Hessen 2.2. Have the British gunners found the range yet? Yeah, more or less. It's not nearly as good this accuracy as it used to be. But yeah, they have found the range. 150% bonus. Schwaben taking a whole bunch of fire. And Schwaben might also be getting a bit dispirited as she passes her sister ship, the Schwerer Schlagmann, which is completely ablaze. I would like to see the German ships at least pull some damage off. Because right now it just feels like they're getting absolutely steamrolled. The British seem to have a bit of an issue though. Even though in these battles you don't really need fuel, like you don't have to carry a whole lot of fuel, because you're not doing some sort of campaign operation. Ships do need some. And the Revenge, the Immortalica, and the Mars are low fuel. Causing them to only be able to go 10 knots. This does mean that the British are slow. And as such might be sitting ducks. Causing the German accuracy to suddenly skyrocket. Oh, they did a decent amount of damage here on the Revenge. It was only two hits. But that is a lot of damage from two hits. And they have one, two, three, four compartments that are taking on water. They have standard bulkheads. This is not the standard, let's say, maximum bulkheads build that I do. They don't have that many. They got a double hull bottom, reinforced bulkheads one, but anti-flood one. 
If the Germans put, I don't know, two or three more holes in the revenge, well, that could be end of the revenge. Incoming fire. Everything missed. And one ricochet. Traben down to 11% crew loss. The Hessen down to 7% crew loss. I think Schwaben is getting so badly suppressed that her damage and stability, yeah, it's 35%. Hessen, not as bad. Probably, oh, 25% already? Good lord. Bad news. What are you targeting? You're still targeting Revenge. Revenge is still suffering from that flooding. Look at that, buoyancy 48. And the secondaries are taking aim at what seems to be the Mars. Wow, everything just either completely missed or got ricocheted. Revenge trying to fall back into the formation. Not very eager to stick it out. Because she probably knows that if she gets hit again and floods again, she could be out of the fight for good. 14%, oh, 15%, 23.5% loss on Traben. These 8 inchers are so deadly. Now, it is hard for me to see how many fires this thing actually has. But it doesn't look good. And uh, Hessen, also very much in the receiving end. But doesn't seem to be doing as bad. 163 damage from fire, 266. There's 8 fires raging on the Hessen right now. And with fewer and fewer crew members to handle these fires, that damage is going to tick and tick and tick. And more importantly, there's so many new fires being set by the British ships that I don't think the Germans... Well, even if they have enough crew, I don't think they're able to put them out fast enough. And this is with maximum bulkheads. Um, Barbette Force and no chance for trip, or no, no chance for flash fires, or at least very little. Crypt 3 Armor, Citadel 4. They got all the good damage control abilities, but it's their crew that could be the deciding factor right now. Or rather, let's say the lack of crew. 27% crew lost. And these British ships are not likely to let off anytime soon. They still have thousands and thousands of shells lying around. The only thing that the Germans can hope for now is that they flood one of the ships. But seeing as the AI, in its infinite wisdom, has decided to go after the Immortalica, which is somewhat angled. Oh, we got flooding here and flooding on the Mars. Mars also lost an engine and the rudder. The Germans get some revenge, pun not intended. Ooh, Immortalica is flooding pretty bad. She's down to 60% buoyancy, 55. This is definitely the weak spot for the British. At this rate, they're very much at risk of losing one or potentially several ships. Hessen down to 31% crew loss. The Schwaben's even worse at 37-3. If the Germans continue to focus fire on either the Immortalica or the Mars and take one of these out, that would really boost their odds. Main guns trained at the Mars. Mars, however, is starting to angle, making another destructive pen hit less likely. Not impossible. Nope, no hits. At this point, all ships have taken so much damage that they're all suffering from about 45% or greater, or 41% damage and stability. I think it's going to be the crews that end up deciding this. 39-4, 39-5... Hessen on fire, but seemingly under control. Almost 40%. Another salvo from Hessen completely misses the mark on the Mars. And you're taking aim at the, the trailing Revenge here. Revenge probably almost dead in the water. Six knots. Damage to the main guns on the Schwaben. The Schwaben has very, very little wiggle room now. A reload sitting on almost 100 seconds at this point. Ricochet. That's good news for the revenge. 
flooding on the Immortalis. Sorry, the Immortalica. It's just their rudder compartment, and it seems to be contained. Can we get the Germans to deal any... any lethal shots? Doesn't look like it. Everybody on the British side has their flooding under control. Schwaben's about to surrender. 44.6. 44.8. 45. Schwaben has surrendered. Too much of her crew has been taken out of the fight. Which pretty much make this a given. The Hessen is going to, sur is going to uh, sink. The Immortalica, however, not safe. Not safe at all. She just fixed her flooding. And surprisingly, despite her list, those guns are still able to fire. Even though, to me, it very much looks like they really shouldn't be. I think if Hessen can get one more good hit on the Immortalica, one flooding, the Immortalica is done for. Although, even if she's able to pull that off, I don't... Jeez, that was a high amount of damage. I don't think it's going to make it go the way of the Germans, because they have lost 42% of their crew. Even if they do take out the Immortalica, Mars, and Revenge, well, those 8.7s are just not letting up. It would just be, let's say, more of a an honorary thing for the Germans to do. Nope. Hessen has surrendered. So, that's a 3-0, although it was almost a 3-1. A 3-0 for the British. Mars, Immortalica, and Revenge survive Schwab and Hessen. And Schwerer Schlagmann do not. And so it is decided. Germany will fight France. But first, we're going to see Italy and Spain square off. Whoever survives that round is going to be met by the UK in the first round of the semi-finals. But first, we have the other matches coming up. So join me next time for Italy versus Spain. I hope you guys are enjoying the tournament. I definitely am. And I look forward to seeing how these other matches are going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon for more battles.